because we we have been kind of playing around a little bit this episode. Look, we're going to hop right into it right now because this has to be addressed. And we took this long, and I'm glad you have waited. 50 points at halftime. Oh, yeah. I was about to address that. Yeah. 50 points at halftime. Here's the thing. There's, there's two details to that. Clippers. 50 points at halftime. Bro. 51 points at the end of the game. So what? So they were they were down and out. And you just and didn't do a there. goddamn thing about it. You just stayed it. there. No garbage points. And Nothing. you was only missing Kawhi Leonard and Morris. And I get that those are key players. But 50 at halftime, though. Do you think and this, 51 at the... Do you think this goes on Ty Lue? No. Well, it's on the players. This, right? this, this also comes back to making it look like, oh, Paul George, you was blaming Doc Rivers. Mm, I mean, you was playing, Paul. And, and they just signed him to a Supermax. Paul, he scored like 13 points or some shit. Paul, you shot 4 for 13. Like 0 for 6 or some some weird shit. 4 like, for 13? That's not right. fucking stupid. And he was like 0 for 6 from 3 before he finally hit one or something. Like He was like, bro, you play booty. If you got this super max, oh, you you with the shits this year, right? You said you on ass, like whatever quotes you did in all these media interviews that we done heard. Yeah, you well, oh, you on ass when you play the Lakers, but then just get demolished by I mean, Dallas, who just lost to the Lakers. Not just Dallas, oh but God. Dallas without Porzingis. No, the Lakers just beat them by almost like thirty. It's not even. Played them it's not even. By 50. It's not even like the full Dallas. Like, it's Dallas 50. without Porzingis. Y'all gotta be by fifty. And me and Damien talked about this briefly before the show. Like, <gasps> oh my! We gosh. both we both thought that like when Dude. we initially saw like the score, Guys, we thought it was fake. Like, I, oh, like Damien thought somebody was Dude. fucking with him, and I thought it was a meme. I was like, "There's no way." Like, here's the thing: I thought they were losing by like twenty or something, and then somebody just like made it look like they were losing by a lot because like they were playing bad Bro. or something, and then. <laughs> Dude, no cap, bro. I pulled up ESPN. I was like, there's no way. So I pulled up ESPN. They're down by 50. Yeah. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I, like, if y'all follow us on oh social, I even God. made a post about it. I was like, what, what the fuck is, is happening? This? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Like, dude, they ended the game with like 68 points. Like, how do you even do that in today's game? Like, I that doesn't watching, happen. I was watching football. I was like flicking back and forth, but I was right. still like doing I was watching shape. Red Zone like all day, bro. Right. And then I was like. Oh, 308. It says Dallas Clippers, right? And I saw it said 64 to 18. I was like, what? like, 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 here's the thing. Duh. How does that even happen? I like, saw it in my You have to though. miss so many dude. shots. Or like, <laughs> dude, like, I, like, here's the thing. I was trying to imagine, like, how that, like, lopsidedness could happen. I was like, bro, how do you get up by 50? Like, how does that happen? This was the most shocking part of it. You got to at least get, like, some fouls and some free throws or some shit. Like, what's going on? It was in my guide. Like I, did, I had to click it. It was just in was my guide. Was it really like, like the, the description? Is, like it, it shows up? you. Oh, like, that's funny. It dude. shows you the team in the score, dude. There was still like eight minutes in the second, and I was like, "No way, what?" I was like, "No." I clicked on it, bro, and it went to the game, and I was literally like, "Bro, this says like sixty-two or sixty-four to like 18. Dog, I I won't <laughs> lie. I've, the only team I've seen do that is UConn girls. In college, that's the only team I've seen like beat a team like that. But I've I have never, bro. And they say never say never. I've never seen that in any basketball that I've ever watched. I don't even know what to think about that now. After like, well, like what, did, bro? You know what I would have paid to see? What's that? Like the, the in locker room uh, talk after like halftime or after the show? Both. After oh, the well, I would have rather did after. Like after you still don't make no like leeway. To I come feel back. like I feel like there probably wasn't a lot oh discussed. God, it was probably bro. a pretty quiet locker room to be honest. So you know what they're all saying? Look, like we didn't get Christmas. Like Kylo gave us Saturday to have Christmas with our families, and Paul was like, "I just you know I, I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready." I'm like, man, nah, man, fuck, boy. No, dude, you you're, in the, you're in the NBA. It's not bro, not being ready. You like, just got but also, that he signed contract. a supermax. He signed a supermax. Five bro, years. You, what are you talking about? Oh, but you but you came out on the Lakers, bro, and dropped 33, smashing, going in on everybody. Yeah, even then, it wasn't enough. Not all of it. And you're right. And you still barely like squeak. You know, LeBron chilled at the end of the game. You know, Anthony started and then chilled at the end of like, and then like when you. But when I don't know, bro. That like to me, if Kawhi has to play in order for them to not lose by fifty, I They're think that trouble. is crazy. They're in trouble. I think that's crazy. Do you think that raises Kawhi's value? 
Hey, it almost to me because you've you've kind of talked shit about Kawhi like a little bit. So to like, me, do you think this actually kind of? I I think gives what, you a little bit of perspective. I think what it does is give me the validation of why Kawhi only did a two year with an opt out. Because like he literally sees. Did like, you see him say? Did you see him say that if he's healthy though, I'm he just, wants to sign a super max with the LA Clippers? Though? Nope. I heard him say like I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just focused on this season. And oh, the last win. report I saw was he was like, if I'm healthy, I'm gonna opt out. And I want to send Supermax is is what I saw. Don't let him troll you. Okay. Where would he go if he doesn't re-sign to the clip? Dude. He can go anywhere. How funny would that be? He can go anywhere. Like, if Paul George signed that Supermax, and then Kawhi doesn't re-sign there, and then they're just shit. Well, I mean, think about it. Because like, let's I, be honest. Without Kawhi, no. they're not going to be competitive. 